Now, given the opportunity to travel abroad, would you go and why? Well, that's because the question we're asking has been because according to Pew Research Center, over 75% Ghanaians say they would travel out of the country if they were given the opportunity. Reasons being high rates of unemployment, political instability, and low wage, wage rates, which is expected to worsen due to high fertility. Now, we've been picking your thoughts on this, and this is what you had to say. Uh, I would like to travel to a further my education, that's first of all. Further my education, maybe get masters in Harvard or Yale. All the prominent people in Ghana, certain uh, example, Baumia, Nanadu, or even the former president, all of them going to Yale and this before, Oxford and the rest. I know there are schools, better schools in Ghana, but if considering you yourself as yourself, if you consider uh, University of Ghana giving you a master's degree compared to Yale, and you are all uh, going for an interview, who do you think will be taking first? I'm going to Germany to study a technology-related course. I surely will, and you know the reason. They are more advanced. They are more advanced. Look at these bridges behind us in circle here. They were not done by Ghanaian contractors, right? Why do the country has to bring, um, bring in foreign contractors? Because they feel that um, it's well dealt over there. So given the chance, why not? The leaders who come to rule the country don't have the creativity ideas. They are not creative to create jobs. You get what I mean? People need jobs to feed themselves. And we don't see a creativity drive from these leaders in the country. They either become obelu sellers or they are in the market. You know, you must tap the human resources. Make use of the human resources. But leaders cannot make use of the human resources. You get what I mean? Now, these young boys and girls, they finish school. After all, there's no job in the country. You say all of them, they say they will create jobs, they will create jobs, they can't. They don't create their jobs. You get what I mean? And the people need jobs to live on. Let's see what you've been saying on Facebook. Let's start with Malik. So Malik Memphis says, I'll stay in Ghana and help to build my country. I'm a teacher living in Dabzugi with my four children. My pay is sufficient and all the life enhancing amenities are good and really efficient. And Icon uh, Bill says, you see yourself. And <laughs> Ishinoma says, you show your pay is sufficient with, your, with four children. Well, there are more replies. Uh, it just comes like I guess you are not that ambitious. Oh wow! But anyway, it depends on which part of the country you're coming yeah. from, you know, because uh, things caught quite are quite cheap in some parts of the country. Now, Emmanuel, for instance, I will due to graduate unemployment and if any uh, cheap labour. Andrew says, why not? If you have a party called MPP with the leader Kufuado and uh, terrorist groups like Invincible Kandahar Boys beating innocent citizens, and Daniel Kuzi, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then uh, Charles Blaise says, you want to find out if the research conducted was true, right? Find out for yourself. Why? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. You don't have to answer if you don't want to, man. But you know, to keep the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, it's Joy News on TV. Yeah. Unfortunately, today we couldn't uh, get to bring you the full uh, Joy News Interactive because we had to break into listening to Pastor Mensa Otebill mm -hmm. from uh, Accra Marriott Hotel. But thank you. Thank um, you. Am I pizza? Wow.